Hi everyone, uh, we wanted to do a review on the Mystic X. Um, it's a nine mil well, it's a multi-caliber suppressor, but it's um, up to nine millimeter diameter. Um, but you can use it for, uh, well, depending on which version you have, they have an earlier version um, that I know is good for 223 and I mean quite a few calibers, but if you have one of the more recent versions like this one, uh, it's got all the way up to 300 Winchester Magnum um, rating. So, pretty versatile uh, suppressor. But we wanted to go over, we wanted to take it apart, show you the insides, uh, how you take it apart, how you put it back together, and some of the accessories that you would want to get if you were to get the suppressor. Um, and a little bit of explanation behind why you'd want to get those. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the first attachment. This is a half by 28. Um, just a standard attachment. No springs. No, uh, it's not a booster. Nothing like that. Um, it's for anything that has a fixed barrel. Um, so what we want to do here uh, to take this apart is there's a little ring here. Turn that ring. Apparently you turn it forever. Okay, so that's off. Then you push through or smack through. And then you pull it out of the tube. Um, so this is a monocore suppressor, um, clearly. Uh, if you watched our other video on the Liberty Kodiak uh, TL, um, the design on the inside was not very um, consistent throughout. Um, still effective, but you can tell on this one, the design is very consistent throughout the entire tube. Um, that's just something to note. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, you can see on the end here, it is um, cut in to match the end of the monocore. And there's no specific way to put it in. It, as long as you get one of the cutouts into one of those grooves, uh, there's, there's no problems. It doesn't have to be oriented in one specific way. So you can see it's a little bit off there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so that it lines up the way it's supposed to. Now I'm gonna put the retaining collar back on. And then I'm going to show you all you do with your attachment is screw it on to the end. So the retaining collar goes on the outside of the suppressor, but the attachment actually screws onto the inside of the suppressor. Now this was just a half by 28 that I had on it. Um, that's good for your 22 calibers, um, your nine millimeters, um, things along those lines. If you want to get into like a 300 blackout or anything that's really 30 caliber, uh, you're going to want a, it's the 5 8 by 24 um, for a fixed barrel. So I can take that out. Um, it's going to be exactly the same design as the half by 28 fixed barrel adapter. Uh, the only difference is the threads um, that thread onto the barrel. Um, but we want to talk about the booster that we have here. It's a half by 28. This was designed for a 9mm uh, pistol that has a floating barrel. Now the reason you need a booster for something that has a floating barrel is because if you were to use a fixed suppressor, your, um, your gun won't cycle. Um, because essentially, and I'll put this together so you guys can, I can sort of do a demonstration real quick.
All right, so when you fire around through a, a pistol that has a floating barrel, the barrel actually tilts a little bit. So let me lock this open. Um, so the barrel is actually tilted up slightly. And so if you have a fixed barrel adapter, uh, your the weight of your slide coming back um, is going to be trying to move all of this weight out here that has a lot of leverage in that barrel with it um, before it can cycle and so it's not going to cycle and so what this booster or what some people call linear decoupler um, does is it actually has a spring that if you watch I can pull those apart. And so what that does is that allows the barrel and the gun to cycle without having to move the suppressor. Um, so for a very short period of time, it gives that uh, the suppressor and the barrel enough movement between them so that the gun can cycle. And that's why you would need a booster in a situation. Um, they do make them in half by 28 like we have here. And they also make them in the 5 8 by 24 um, that you would need for a 40 millimeter or a uh, 40 millimeter uh, for a 40 caliber or a 45 caliber um, again this is up to 9 millimeter but they do make a cosmic axe instead of the mystic axe and the cosmic axe is good for up to a 45 caliber um, so in, in our case we're not really going to need the um, 5 8 by 24 um, because you're not going to be able to shoot anything through here that's that size. But the Cosmic X uses the same adapters as the Mystic X. Um, so that's important to note. So they do make it, but you would never really have a reason to put it on this, um, put it on this suppressor. Um, so that's the different attachments that we have for it. You guys got to see the inside. A little demonstration on how the booster works or again some people will call it a linear decoupler um, if you guys have any questions let us know in the comments otherwise we hope you enjoyed the video found it informative uh, don't forget to like and subscribe